Hello, Brandon Leon here, and welcome to Art Nerd Episode 3. All right, in this episode, we're going to jump right into some design feedback and also a little rendering as well. All right, so you can see here I'm using the symmetry tool to just do a quick sketch of, uh, overlay sketch of Alice's um, little bug gurney, hospital gurney design. And uh, yeah, uh, Alice Nguyen is one of my former students from my design class, and she sent me this design also uh, just to get uh, some quick thoughts and feedback. And so we're here going over some of the little tweaks and design changes that I applied on top of her design. Okay, so one of the things that I I did was I made sure to keep the original spirit of the design by just taking that original um, silhouette, right? That that print that you see on the right side of the screen, and just really refine some of the shapes and components on this gurney. So one of the things that I changed a bit was um, the hooks for those IV. Uh, saline bags. I just integrated it as a bug antenna sort of deal. So yeah, to to really just go along with the theme that this this is a insect based design. And here I'm trying to flesh out a little bit more of the leg design. Right. Uh, my thought is that. The, the legs need to be very clear in terms of the joints that it shows, right? Uh, where all the swivels and hinges are on those bug legs. Uh, because this is such a key aspect of the design that, yeah, I feel that it, it has, to be, has to be clearly shown. Um, I really like that she had, like, eyes in that bottom part of the bug design. That th I thought that was really cool. So um, while rounding out that bottom part of the undercarriage, I also rounded out and, and made the, the eyes a, a little more uh, streamlined with that new organic curve shape. Right? I really dig the idea of these medical compartments here to hold all the supplies and whatnot. So yeah, not too much changes there. I just decided to refine some of the shapes more, added some cylinders and boxes and things like that just to give a nice variety. And in the back part of the bug here, I figured that this is where the diagnostic tools for uh, medical diagnostic tools for this gurney would be. And then way, way in the back there, I figure you know what, this thing probably needs some kind of motor um, or engine to drive all those uh, bug legs, right? Okay, so this is my take on um, her design of the arms, you know, the arms that hold up the upper part of the gurney, uh, the mattress part of the gurney. Right? So instead of having uh, a two and two combo, I just did uh, three, right? Three extra arms to hold up that that bed platform. Combining the upper and lower half, and starting to jump in here with refined line drawing, right? So really just cleaning up the line art more than anything else. Okay, and you notice there that I changed it so that the mattress part only has like the pillow and the main uh, mattress that covers the, the whole body. Now I figure just, you know, it occurred to me that, you know, if the patient is injured, you know, would I want, you know, multiple lumps and bumps in the mattress causing discomfort for that patient? And just as a use, usability reason, I opted to make it one solid mattress to really keep the, the patient's uh, movement stable, right? You want to keep them immobilized as much as you can when they are on that gurney because you don't want to aggravate any, any more of their injuries. 
Okay, uh, jump in here again, cleaning up some of the sketchy line work. And oh, uh, right here I added like a cut line, right? Some panel cut lines because another usability uh, thought is that if you're to lift the patient off the gurney, those antenna things will for sure get in the way. So I figured maybe they'll just flip forward. Okay, so here those little bumps on the side are actually the um, containers for the belts that, you know, the straps and the belts that hold the patient onto the gurney. Right, and I made it, uh, yeah, I made those containers for the straps and belts a little taller too, just to echo the sense of railings on your traditional hospital gurneys. Okay. Adding back in one of the design features that Alice had originally put in, right, the hooks for the saline and plasma bags. Okay, here. So I am starting to just get a side-by-side -side comparison of the design. And now I believe I'm starting to set up everything for the rendering. All right, uh, nothing fancy, just quick block in of the masses and the silhouettes uh, to use as a clipping mask. You know, um, that's one of the great features of Photoshop using clipping masks so that you can stay within the lines when coloring right? and not, not having to worry about jumping outside the line work or jumping outside the silhouette. Coloring in the the main accent color there. Some quick form indications. And experimenting a little bit too with the glossiness of this material. I mean, this can either be shiny painted metal or it could be a very shiny plastic like material right and here's just a quick uh, indication of something reflecting off from the front right front and side it's not completely accurate i would say but it's more just for a visual indication that this is a shiny surface shiny reflective surface very smooth as well. Okay, jumping in with the mattress there. All right, and you know, one of the ways that I like to give more form to an object is to really start to think about cast shadows, you know, uh, self shadowing, ambient occlusion, things like that. Uh, there are a ton ton of rendering tutorials on YouTube that I, I think would do a way better job than than I can describe in the short like a uh, few minutes here but yeah just really jumping in to indicate all the materials and colors and with the main goal of you know again keeping the spirit of Alice's original design intent intact I believe my design intent behind those uh, fins in the back is like they're similar to the cooling fins in uh, a motorcycle engine or you know those uh, CPU coolers right so I figure yeah nothing if it generates heat and needs to dissipate somewhere okay so just a quick hack shortcut there to use the silhouette as the shape of the shadow too and as we're going in the final stretch here, I'm just trying to add some more highlights and effects for the final polish stage. All right. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. 
Uh, take good care of yourself. Take good care of each other. And have a great week. And hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks.